The sorry state of the taxi parks in Kampala has been worsening by the day, especially by the recent torrential rains. As a result, a public outcry has ensued with pressure mounting on the city authority to fix the parks. But so far, little has been done. So, today Kampala Capital City Authority came out to explain why it hasn't yet taken action and a number of key challenges to the redevelopment plans were outlined. Our predecessors sold the biggest part of the taxi parks. We have court cases uh, pending uh, to the effect that we should hand over huge chunks of the taxi park to developers. Now, we have to make a decision. Do we put five billion shillings into repairing the taxi park and then next week have court say, order vacant possession? That means give over the property to these private developers who are holding titles, uh, who are holding titles and paid ground rent and premium to KCC. So it's a challenge. The city chief says they will do some remedial works in the near future for the good of the park users, which will have to be balanced by the audit queries of wasteful expenditure. However, even the remedial works may not happen immediately, thanks to one major challenge, the cumbersome procurement laws. Then you, you, you shortlist, you evaluate, you set up committees to review, then you take it back to the contracts committee, then it approves. After that, then the contracts have to go to Solicitor General for approval because they are over 50 million. They stay in Solicitor General's office for <coughs> times that I cannot control. So sometimes contracts come out of there after three, four months. Another key challenge cited was a lack of recruitment with KCCA heaping blame on the Ministry of Public Service for not giving a clear working structure to enable the process of recruitment. You'll appreciate that in the uncertainty, the staff that were in KCC are not the most energized at this time because they don't know what their future is, they don't know what their terms are, they don't know what's going to happen to them, and they, that is not a very good working environment. So whereas some of them want to work, they're encumbered by these uh, things that come out of lack of assurance for the future. However, despite these challenges, Musisi concluded with how grateful she was for the president's appointment of six directors to boost her management team that includes Mrs. Jennifer Kagwa as a directorate for administration, Mr. Mike Okua for legal affairs, Mr. Daniel Chambade for treasury services, Mr. Moses Nambale Bire for internal audit, Mrs. Phoebe Lutea Kamia for revenue collection, Mr. George Ninsima Agaba for physical planning, Engineer Andrew Chitaka Mobiru for engineering and technical services, and Ms. Harriet Mudondo as a directorate for gender, community services, and production. As KCC marks six months in office, the challenges ahead of Musisi and her team remain as difficult as ever. And it seems tonight that for many reasons, the most needed redevelopment of Kampala's parks will once again be put on hold. Kray Kadoda, NTV.